I need a cup of tea. Tea sure does take the edge off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sunbreak Hunters all! <laughs> I do what you know. <laughs> Big patch. Oh, where do I even begin? At the beginning, as is tradition. But still, what? It's like they were up in the Capcom dev offices and they were like, yo, what should we put in? I don't know why they're like, yo. <laughs> it's not It's not like they're like, update. Great. They were like, what do you want to be in the first title update? And the entire room just went, yes. Ah, oh, so as I... Uh, comfortably predicted uh, along with you know most of the people because they make a lot of sense we are indeed getting the metal rafts to round out our new monster roster to four for this update which is just awesome and you know what else is just awesome blue fire hellfire mode is back but so much more the new attacks that these guys are pumping out is ridiculous. We even have some deviant Dread King Queen action with the explosive rocks on the ground creating an aura of fiery death before a further massive detonation, but in blue fire. And that is so awesome. Like, it's so pretty. Hello. Okay, that's, that's less... Less pretty. <laughs> it was not a flattering angle, Goldrathian. But again, even Goldrathian is looking absolutely stellar. And look, I am a sucker for blue fire. I cannot deny. Wow. Get a little bit more Lucent Naga Cougar action. And he is also spotting some ridiculous attacks. Multi layered rain of poison death quills. I mean, okay. That's. That's fine, that'll do. And he is so fast. The combos, the pain, you can just feel it. Seething Basil also looks like he is really bringing the heat, as it were, and indeed has his nuclear drop, which is just wonderful. So that's our four monsters, but god, that is the tip of the iceberg. Event quests are back from August 18th, which is so exciting. Honestly, I have missed covering them every week for you guys, so you can be sure that will be happening once again. And that's really, really cool. But there's not just event quests, right? There is also some special event quests that we're getting that are like extra event quests. These are known as dual threats and basically it's a special hard event quest where you fight two significant monsters together and try your best to conquer it. All for layered armor and rewards and goodness and that's really sweet. It seems they've really taken on board that the event quests were maybe a bit lackluster at least to start with in base rise and basically now we're paying for having that opinion. We're gonna pay dearly for it. Oh, moving on then, because still so much there is to show. A little bit of extra paid DLC, some fun new items for you to grab, which is always fine. Look, it's good to see a few extra little cosmetic options that are optional, especially in the middle of getting so much content for free. And I do mean so much. Anomaly quests, anomaly monsters, the flagships are getting their afflicted states, and oh, we're gonna be in an afflicted state after combating them. Astalos in particular looks absolutely terrifying. But this all builds to, how should I put this? Guild quests are back! <laughs> At least in the form of anomaly investigations where you can hunt an anomaly monster and raise the level of its quest which makes it more and more difficult but gives you better and better rewards to feed into the new crafting system but at the same time the uh, actual conditions for the quest the map the players etc is random so yes very guild questy very painful and most importantly very, very hype. I, oh, what, I mean, what, what do we even, that's such a massive new, like, this, so, like, it's a whole new end game. And I can't, I just, I can't deal. Also, confirmation that our next title update is specifically late September, which I would imagine to mean the last two weeks in September, but late would also imply the very last week in September, but we will see, I suppose. But firstly, 
Okay, let's continue because we're still not quite done. We got ourselves a little bit more details on how exactly the anomaly quest will work. We'll get a new round anomaly quest, which is all of the flagship level monsters, but then of course the research system as you keep powering them up, and that's really cool to see. And then a proper little look in game at Curio Crafting the ability to upgrade weapons in a more fixed, controllable manner using materials from the research quest and and then armor, which is a little bit more random, rolling the dice and hoping you get something very nice. The question is, can we get proper offensive skills on the armor, or is it going to be limited to more utility skills, which I would prefer, because otherwise set building is going to be a delicious nightmare. Oh, that is very good to see though, and Curio Crafting is going to be absolutely amazing. Then, finally, we have Bahari's little research lab that he is opening, which lets us trade the special materials from Anomaly Monsters for goodies. The resource that powers the crafting, yes, but also stuff like MP accelerants and puddings, so they are getting even easier to get a hold of, and that's really, really excellent. So, yeah! That's a lot. It is a lot. There's so much, and it's all happening, and there's so much to talk about. Oh, and it's coming out tomorrow, the 10th, like almost right now. So, you know, no real time to let it sink in because we're about to be hunting it and playing it. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, this is how you do an update, and I, for one, am absolutely over the moon. <laughs> For now then, let me know what you guys are most excited for and about, and yeah, I'll see you very soon with more and more on this glorious update of everything you need to know, and of course, the pro and noob goodliness. For now then, and indeed, until next time, consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and oh. Let's all just go and try and contain ourselves. My word. Ah! Anyway! A good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye <laughs>